Okay, so this is free response number two on the 2022 um, free response section. This is a calculator question, uh, just to preface. So, okay, it says a particle moving along a curve in the xy plane is at position x of t, y of t at time t is greater than zero. The particle moves in such a way that dx dt equals root one plus t squared and dy dt equals ln of two plus t squared at time equals four. The particle is at the point one five. Okay, so part A asks for the slope of the line tangent to the particle at t equals four. So that would be dy dx, um, and we're given dy dt and dx dt. So what I did was I just plugged four into both those equations and then um, divided. So I did dy dt over dx dt over here on the right. And I just plugged that into my calculator for the answer highlighted in purple, 0.701. Okay, and there are no units, um, but if there were, you would put units, but yeah. Um, for part B, find the speed of the particle at t equals four and the acceleration vector at t equals four. So for speed, I just plugged the t equals four into the formula for speed. So the formula for speed would be that square root of dy dt squared plus dx dt squared. Um, and I just plugged the previous dx dt and dy dt from earlier into that. And then I used my calculator and came out with the answer 5.035. And then for the acceleration vector, we have those dy dt, the first derivatives um, of x and y coordinates given. So we just need, I just needed to um, find the second derivative and I did that using my calculator and I plugged in t equals 4 um, and then left that in the brackets so for the answer down here highlighted 0.444 comma 0.235 all in those brackets and then for part c find the y coordinate of the particle's position at time t equals 6 so what I did for that is saw that the initial condition at t equals 4 was given here at the point 1, 5. So that means I started my integral at um, t equals 4 to 6 to find the position at 6 with the initial position out front. Um, and then I did dy dt since we're looking for the y coordinate. Um, in the integral, and then I just plugged that in for the answer, 11.571, and the highlighted parts are all the parts that are part of the answer in our answer sheet. So we have the initial position, the integral, and then the answer. Okay, for part D, find the total distance the particle travels along the curve from time equals four to time is six um, for total distance is just the integral and we did the absolute value so we would do from four to six that's the time that's part of the answer and then we did the integral of root dy dt squared plus dx dt squared and again just plug that into the calculator um for the answer 12.1336 um yeah and again What's in purple is part of the answer in our answer sheet. So the integral, the limits of integration, and the answer.